Finally, the wait is over. Adobe Firefly for video has released to the public and I'm gonna show you what it's all about. Let's dive into it. I know we've all been waiting a long time to see this Adobe Firefly generative video. I'm gonna take you through it. So let's dive into the tool right now. Okay, so I'm in Adobe Firefly. I'll drop this link below. So we're gonna start by going to the video panel and down here you could do either text to video or image to video or even translate video. But we'll start with the text to video for now. So you see, it brings up a panel that's very similar to the normal Firefly image generator. So up here, you could change the aspect ratio, widescreen or portrait if you wanna generate something for social media, and it defaults to 24 frames per second. And here in the shot size, you could actually change it. So if you want an extreme close up or extreme long shot, you could specify that right here. So let's say I wanted a eye level shot and let's say I want a medium shot and we'll do handheld for motion. I'll add my prompt down here. A man and a primate have breakfast together and we'll hit generate. And you see it comes back with a weird type shot. The guy looks like he doesn't have his eyes open. Uh, the monkey's talking, but the monkey actually looks pretty good. But for text to video, I mean, it pretty much did the job. So now if I go to the video panel and if I do the image to video, this works a little bit better in my opinion because you could actually upload a frame that you generate. So I got this that I generated from Mid Journey. I'll add that same prompt. And this is what it came up with. The faces aren't great. The camera movement's really nice, but pretty decent. And you have to remember this is still in the very beginning phases. So some of the outputs aren't gonna be the greatest, but I did get some really good results. All right, let's look at a few more. All right, I'm gonna do another one here. I'm gonna go back to video and I'll do image to video and I'll upload my frame first. So I have a silly shot here of an octopus with sunglasses playing music on the street. And I'm gonna add my prompt. And in terms of my camera movement, I'm just gonna make this a handheld like I did before. And I hit generate and you see here, it does a pretty good job with the people in the background out of focus. I mean, there's a little bit of stutter stepping, but I mean, it's out of focus. You can't really notice it, but the guitar is pretty good. I mean, there's some stuff here that definitely needs work, but overall, I mean, it's pretty impressive. Now let's move on to the first frame, last frame feature. Okay, so the first frame, last frame feature is a way you can kind of animate and control what goes on in your video. Okay, so let's go ahead and upload our first frame. We have a shot of a spaceship on a colorful planet here, and then we have a shot of it without. It. So what I'm gonna try to do is try to get this spaceship to uh, fly away on this planet. So I'm gonna go with the first frame is gonna be the spaceship landed, and the end frame is gonna be nothing in the frame. And I'll add my prompt here, and I'll hit generate. So one of the downsides on using the first and last feature is you can't control the type of shot or the motion. All right, it did a pretty good job. And I could always add some camera movement later on in post, but it pretty much did what I wanted to do. It did the first frame and the last frame. Overall, some pretty good results. Let's look at a screenshot from like a 3D animated film and let's see how it does with 3D animation. This one, I have a shot of a fisherman type person and he's eating his lunch and a bird comes and perches on his boat. I added my prompt here and this is the result that it came up with. You'd see the eyes kind of get all weird and distorted and demon-like. So it's almost like it doesn't identify the faces as real faces and it's, it seems to have trouble with faces. And I think Adobe has addressed that as well. So if I did that same screenshot in something like Halo AI, you see how smooth their characters are just because of the advancements in their software. Okay, so check it out for yourself, Adobe Firefly generative video. Hope you enjoy it. Here are some of the other results that we generated using this tool.